Hey everybody, you're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and a couple of days before I left for vacation, this box arrived in the mail. It is the Energen Drone Max A20, and the good thing is, I decided to take it with me on vacation and use it to actually charge my Mavic Pro while I'm traveling around the wilds of the Ozarks, upstate New York, Kansas City, and a few other places. So uh, I'm gonna open the thing up, get it set up, and then over the next few days and weeks, I'm gonna use it just exclusively as my charger and let you guys know how it does after that period of time. So stay tuned. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you to Energen for sending me the Drone Max A20 charger. This is actually the second thing I've received from them to evaluate. I did receive a smaller Mavic only charger, but the difference with this guy, this thing is bigger and it actually uh, allows you to charge 3S or 4S batteries. So you can charge uh, not only the Mavic Pro, but you can also charge the um, Phantom 3 series and the Phantom 4 series from DJI. There is the Drone Max A20. Now this thing is uh, strapped down pretty good inside here, which is actually pretty nice. It keeps it from uh, moving around. And there's the actual unit itself. Now this thing is, uh, doesn't feel terribly heavy, but it, it does have some heft. I mean, it's a battery after all. And then it has a, what looks like a AC to DC converter that you use to actually charge this guy. So the dimensions on this thing are 6.8, uh, wide by 5.6 deep by 3.15 tall inches, which is 173 by 143 by 80 millimeters. Um, it weighs 4.2 pounds, which is almost two kilograms. And it has a uh, charging capacity of 18,000 milliamp hours for a 3S battery and 13,600 milliamp hours for a 4S battery. It takes about five hours to fully charge this thing, and it's supposed to give you four plus full charges, meaning four plus a little extra full charges with the Mavic Pro and two plus full charges with the Phantom uh, series batteries. There are some switches here on the back that switch you between three cell and four cell. Basically your uh, Phantom's going to be four cell and your Mavic Pro is going to be three cell. It's got two USB ports on the back. And then what's cool about these things and what I really uh, hope they do in terms of future proofing is they give you a series of cables that you can connect to it. And these cables are designed for different drones. So I know that they support um, the Mavic and the Phantom, but I believe they also have cables that support uh, unique drones as well. These are gonna be your four cables for the Mavic and your two cables for the Phantom if you're plugging those in. It also comes with a uh, strap that allows you to put a shoulder strap on this container and instructions here that uh, go through all the safety specifications, I'm sure. And then I'm actually gonna take, uh, take this guy and go over and plug it into the wall and charge it up so that I can start using it. All right, so as you can see, I've got the Energen A20 plugged in outdoors. It goes into the from the wall into the transformer and the AC to DC transformer, and then it goes into the back of the drone there. I'm sorry, into the back of the uh, charger. And then you can see right there, hopefully you can see the lights blinking. It looks like it shipped with about a 25% charge. And so right now it is blinking and trying to get up to 100%. It says it takes five hours for that to happen. So I'm just gonna leave it here charging and uh, come back to it this evening. Okay, so you can see I've got the Energen A20 plugged in here. It's plugged into the uh, remote for the transmitter for the um, Mavic Pro, which was at about 45% when I started it. And so it's charging via USB. Then I've got uh, this platinum battery, which was probably at about 50%. It's charging. This was about 20%, another platinum battery got an aftermarket battery here which was also at about 20% and then an original Mavic Pro battery all of them charging on the Energen okay so it is 10:22, and that means these have been going for about 2 hours and 45 minutes 
you can see that this went from 45% to 100%. This one's at 100%. This one's at 100%. This one's at 100%. And this one, which was the most drained, is just about at 100%. But I've got to go shoot some stuff, so I'm going to pull them off now. And you can see here that this guy is... I'd say a little over 50% still done. So I'm gonna leave, I'm not gonna recharge the Energen, but I'm going to go out and drain all four of these batteries again. Uh, and after I come back, I will use it and see if they'll give them a full charge again with these down around 40%, 30%. So, so far so good to get three batteries and almost a fourth plus the remote recharged took about two hours and 45 minutes and left about uh, two thirds of the energy still available. Okay, so it's day two with the Energen A20 and I have not recharged the Energen A20. It's still on the original charge and currently it is at, uh, looks like about three quarters full and that is after charging four uh, Mavic Pro batteries from anywhere between 25 and 45 percent up to 100 as well as the remote control. Um, so this is gonna be round two of charging four batteries at once. So I've got the two uh, clips for the Mavic Pro batteries plugged in right here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, plug them in and as I said each of these batteries this one is at one point one dot this one's at three two and a half this one's at just has one dot and this one has one and a half and then the remote is at 47 percent i don't remember that sounds like what it was last time like 47 or 46 but yeah i've run that down a bit too so this will be round two of charging four batteries from anywhere from 25 30 percent to 45 50 percent and the remote so let's go ahead and plug it in Okay, so it's hard to see on the on the platinum batteries just because they're a little bit lighter. Um, but all four batteries are currently charging, and the um, and the remote is also currently charging. It's at forty seven percent. So we're gonna see if this will charge up all four batteries a second time without a recharge as well as the remote control. Um, I think it's going to, and I think part of the reason it's able to do this is because I didn't run these down too far, but that's always a safe thing to do anyway. So if I can get uh, eight charges of batteries plus two charges of the remote out of this thing without having to recharge it, I'm pretty impressed. So let's see, or maybe more, who knows. Okay, so it's been about an hour and 15 minutes, and unfortunately, uh, the charging has stopped. It did not get to a full charge. This one got to one and a half. This one still on two. This one's on a solid three now. This one's on a solid three. And this is at 58%. It was at 47. So the Drone Max was not able to do full, two uh, full charges of four batteries and the remote. More like one and maybe 25% beyond that or even less. So I'm gonna keep working with it uh, a bit more, and maybe next time I'll do four, and then I'll try doing one more and see if I can get five out of it. Okay, so this is my second time charging up the Energen A20 uh, Drone Max. I charged it once, uh, charged four batteries and a remote for the Mavic Pro, and now uh, it's completely at zero. So I'm throwing it back on its charger uh, to recharge the Energen and uh, see how much more I can get out of it. Okay, so I charged the Drone Max A20 overnight. It's got a full charge as you can see. And I've got four batteries 
that are at or below 50 percent uh, as you can see there and I've got a remote that is at 40 percent so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do round one of charging on the Energen A20 Drone Max and charge up all of these which I know it will do and then I'm going to go in and just plug one battery that's below 50 percent to it and see if it'll charge that and then another and another until it won't do it anymore because it wouldn't do eight it wouldn't wouldn't do this setup twice but uh, we're gonna see if it'll do a bit more than just this setup okay so these are all charging on the drone max including that which is like I said at 40 percent and so I'm gonna let this guy go for an hour or two until it's done and then we'll try another battery on it um, that is also below 50 percent okay so after charging uh, four batteries and the remote uh, back to 100 percent now keep in mind none of them were at zero they were all down between 50 and 25 um, and if you're taking care of your batteries none of your batteries should be at zero but they had all been used to a point where I thought they needed recharging and the um, as well as the remote so I charged four batteries and the remote and currently I have three out of four dots left on this thing so what I'm going to do this time is go ahead and plug in two more batteries and see if we can get a charge out of those this one's got two dots so probably around 50 percent and this one's my aftermarket battery it's got one and a half out of four so we'll go ahead and charge these two guys in and see where they land okay so I just plugged the uh, two batteries into the Energen and immediately with some uh, some draw on it the light went from three lights what looked like three lights before to one and so we'll see if it has enough juice to charge these two batteries again this one uh, is you can see charging at the 50 percent mark as is this one so they're probably both about 35 40 percent left on them so they need to be charged about 65 percent of the rest of the way and we've already charged um, four batteries and the control with this thing so let's see if it has enough juice to fit top off these two as well okay so despite the best effort the drone max was not able to finish charging these additional two batteries so I had left it on for about an hour and maybe 45 minutes and it got this one to two and a half and it got this one to two and a half as well. So uh, the, the point being that after you've done four batteries on the Drone Max as well as the remote, uh, you might get another half battery or maybe another uh, full charge if the battery's not all the way dead out of it, but you're not gonna get, um, you're not gonna get six full charges out of it. But that's okay, that's not what they advertise. Um, I have found this thing to be incredibly useful this week. I've been in the uh, wilds of the Ozarks in Missouri, out on lakes, on a boat, uh, canoeing, all over the place, and have really enjoyed having this with me at different times. I've mostly kept it in my vehicle so I could recharge while I was shooting other things, but I've run through a lot of batteries in the last two weeks and have had a great time using the Drone Max uh, A20 from Energen. Uh, I will say too that it does charge other drones. It does charge the Phantom uh, 4 series and you have to switch here to four cell batteries on the front if you're going to do that. I have not used it for the Phantom 4 yet because I don't have my Phantom 4 with me but I'm headed home tomorrow and I will be using it on the Phantom 4. Um, I plan to just keep this thing with me whenever I'm going to be flying for a half day or a full day. It just helps so much to be able to recharge on the fly and this thing is very well built. So if you're going to be traveling out in the field and won't have easy access to power outlets all the time or just want the convenience of being able to charge in your car while you're driving along or whatever, uh, the Drone Max A20 is a pretty nice piece of equipment to have. It's very well made. It has the versatility of three cell and four cell batteries. My hope is that as new drones come out, the Mavic Air, 
uh, if there's a new Mavic release this summer or anything like that, this will have new uh, cables that you can plug into those if the batteries are different. And I'm sure Energen is, is working on that because ultimately this is your big investment and then these little cables allow you to um, charge all kinds of different drones and if Energen is smart they will be releasing different cables for different drones, popular drones, all the time. If you want to see the pricing and how to order one, I'll leave a link in the description. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos about drones and drone accessories, please subscribe to Ready Set Drone. Thanks for watching.